CataractCoach.com, attending versus fellow cataract surgery. The fellow has clearly learned so much from this attending. Now, you see the attending operating there on the left, and the fellow is on the right. And two similar cataract cases. You see there is a paracentesis being made on both sides. Now, on the fellow side, you can tell there's an extra cannula there, 19-gauge um, cannula. That's from the squirt bottle to keep the eye hydrated, whereas I don't see it so much on the attending side. And so, there you go, adjusting that magnification on the attending side. Here comes the viscoelastic, nice fill backwards, good backfill. The fellow does the same thing, just a tad bit slower. That looks great. Let's watch the incisions together. This is fun. So now the incision's coming up. A little more viscoelastic for the fellow, so he needed a little more. Attending nice and easy, clean incision there, barely nicking, nicking the limbo vessels, which is great. And then the fellow, let's see, still holding on to the eye, still waiting to make that incision. Here you go, fixating the attending, already starting the rexus. Fellow now is now making good incision, a pretty close, very similar. So clearly this fellow has been paying attention and following the attending's technique. So attendings will be getting a nice, generous rexus here. Looks like forceps are the same in both attending and fellow. And let's see, they're marked off at two and a half and five millimeters probably. So there's the attending rexus, all done. And then the fellow's continuing. Now I wish the magnification on the attending side was about the same as the fellow side, be a little bit easier. But here using a specialized cannula for the attending to do hydro dissection. Fellow's still completing that rexus. A little more hydro dissection, see if the nucleus rotates for the attending. Meanwhile, the fellow is completing that rexus. Again, good size, five-ish millimeters or so. Beautifully done. I do agree with taking your time. Make sure you get that rexus the way you want it. Make it nice and pretty. As you know, your incision and your rexus are your signature. So fellow there, depressing a little bit to get the little viscous out before doing hydro dissection. There's the first fluid wave. The attending already has a phaco probe in the eye. And so now fellow's doing a little more hydrogen section, rotating the nucleus, that looks good. And let's see what the attending's gonna do here. Attending's gonna do, looks like a chop technique, perhaps. There's a chopper in the one hand, and then let's see, attending's going to buzz into the phaco probe, not yet. Looks like just cleaning up a little bit. Buzzing in, there it is. Here's the attending with the chop, looks like a horizontal chop. Nicely done, nucleus getting split, propagating that chop all the way through. Another sub-chop, two quadrants. Attending is already moving, removing quarters here. Fellow now doing the same horizontal chop. The chop went through. Don't know if it fully propagated there. It looks pretty good. And so attending now is already taking out the, uh, the quadrants from the first half. And then the fellow had a good chop. I'll give you that. And now the fellow is bringing up that first hemi-nucleus. So attending chopped the, the first hemi-nucleus into quadrants in the bag before bringing it up. The fellow... It's kind of doing what I would do, which was be just bring the hemonucleus up and just emulsify it. And if you need to, you can sub-chop it again right there with the iris plane. Attending now is uh, removed the first half fully. It looks like the fellow caught up there pretty easily. Now the fellow is removing the second half, second hemonucleus. And again, the attending is taking out the last little bit as well. So very, very similar techniques here. Looks like both surgeons are using a very similar instrumentation and... It also looks like both surgeons are right-handed here. There you go. That's a little bit more similar magnification here. I actually like how the fellow did not change magnification throughout the case. In most cases, I find that I don't need to change magnification either. So I keep the fixed magnification for most cataract cases for throughout the case. And so now that's all cleaned up nicely. It looks like the attending is going to switch over to the eye probe. And the resident is doing a technique there to prevent pro uh, collapsing of the anterior chamber. I like that. That was reasonable. And now let's take a look here, a little more perhaps tetracaine on the eye for the fellow. Attending is doing cortex removal with the coaxial IA probe. And now the fellow's doing the same thing, getting in that IA probe and removing the cortex. Nice circumferential technique here. As you can see, that's a very efficient way of doing the cortex removal. And now attending is done, looks like, with cortex removal, perhaps a little polishing up of the caps or bag. Fellow's doing the same thing. Again, removing that last bit of the cortex, a sub incisional area, sometimes it's a little bit trickier. And now, if need be, any little capsule polishing, there you go, under surface of the anterior capsule rim. That looks great. And now the attending is going to inject viscoelastic before pulling out the IA probe. I like that. So I like how the, the care was taken to avoid collapsing the anterior chamber. 
And so now both eyes a fake kick. Nice looking Rexes in both cases. Attending here, delivering on the IOL. Looks like a single piece of acrylic lens. And now the fellow delivering the same thing. So very, very similar techniques here. So certainly this fellow is doing a fantastic job of learning from the attending. And here we go. Viscolas removal for the attending. The fellow struggling a little bit to get that lens in the eye appropriately. So now, there we go. Now it's opened up. Attending is getting all that viscoelastic out, rotating that lens, going a little bit behind it for the op behind the optic for the attending. Very nicely done. Behind the optic for the fellow. Very nicely done as well. So beautiful case here. Love the idea of the side-by-side -side comparison. Again, it's not a race. That's not the point. The point is to do a beautiful surgery and to learn from your attending. So lucky for this fellow, he's going to spend a year or so probably with this attending and learn all kinds of amazing things. So thank you for sharing this video and a beautiful technique for both the attending and the fellow. And remember, check out cataractcoach.com. Do you know I have a full 25-part curriculum series? Like if you're trying to learn cataract surgery, there are a series of 25 videos. Do you know there's a free cataract coach book? Yeah, there's a full-on PDF book. You can download it right now onto your phone. It's on cataractcoach.com. You have to leave YouTube and actually go to the website and you'll see it. It's yours. And plus, you got to listen to the podcast. We've got the Cataract Coach podcast now. We've got a new podcast every single week. And it's really great learning. Check it out.